first time at the downhill park. If you've seen my other videos, you probably already know of my idolization of Seth's bike axe. Today we are going to emulate Seth's Mountain Creek Bike Park review video. Spoiler alert, just like him, I had some serious positive and negative experiences at my first lift access to the downhill bike park. Now it is no walk in the park to get from Central Long Island to Mount Vernon in New Jersey. With an approximate travel time of 3 hours, we need an entire day to make the trip for our first morsel of downhill. The first problem was at the front desk where we filled out the rental information. For the half day rental package, it cost about $120. However, when I went to swipe my TD Bank card, it was not registering and the same problem happened to my friends. Luckily I had brought enough cash on me to pay for the rental because the scanners flat out wouldn't take my card. At least the employee acknowledged this is a known problem, but it was still not a great way to start the day. Then when we got to the rental pickup area, we were given our dual crown beasts. However, upon closer inspection, we realized some things were loose, including my friend's handlebars. This was a bit concerning and one might consider it to be foreshadowing for how these bikes would last us throughout the six runs we did in total. We knew ahead of time that Greenhorn was the most beginner friendly trail and began with two laps of it. Once through to lower Greenhorn and another with Ego Trip added in the oh, middle. God. I would definitely recommend this first for every beginner downhill enthusiast since nothing was too intense or demanding of you on these trails. From there we progressed to Dambu and Alpine which were also flow trails. Eventually we were feeling brave and decided to inch our way down the hill on Twist which was a technical blue trail. Twist was the only technical trail we hit and it was very difficult for me at least. If I wasn't on a bike with 200 millimeters of travel, I'm not sure I would have made it through Twist in one piece. Even though we all survived the day without any real crashes, our bikes did not come out as unscathed as we had. My bike suddenly leaked hydraulic fluid out of my rear brake line, leaving me rear brakeless at the top of the mountain. My friend Dan's bike had a spring rate way too soft for his weight, and his gears were shifting on their own, so he lost all confidence in his bike. I think Mountain Creek has plenty of variety and showcases just how rocky northeastern trails can be. Of course, I am still a noob when it comes to true New England tech, since us Long Islanders tremble at the sight of an unfamiliar section of rocks. In all seriousness though, I found the Scott Gambler 730 to be quite helpful in my level of confidence, and that amount of travel certainly gets you out of trouble when it comes to hitting intimidating features. The way that a DH bike soars through the air is very different compared to a short travel trail bike. It is incredibly stable in the air thanks to its weight and length which encouraged me to case dozens of decent sized tabletops. They should really create a rental package with a lawyer included for all my cases. This man's on a hard tail. Now in this video you may have noticed the guy we were riding with was on a Trek Roscoe 8, a hard tail with plus tires and 120 millimeters of suspension. He was named Lewis and was kind enough to show us some of the trails. I asked him about how he survives on a hardtail at a DH park and he said it really doesn't matter that much. I guess at the beginner amateur level even a hardtail can handle the abuse of green and blue trails, it just becomes a matter of can you handle what that level of terrain does to the bike. When I come back to Mountain Creek I'll probably choose to bring my comments off with a familiarity and peace of mind that my brakes will actually work and my gears will shift. Overall my first downhill bike park experience was a blast. It was great to do it with friends because you're all in the same boat of fear and adrenaline as you bomb down the mountain, hanging on for absolute dear life. Let me know about any of your experiences at Mountain Creek or any questions you may have in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.